the law and the curse. When we are fooled by the devil as they are given time to research the family and use the covenants that are made by David Wagliff and sacrifice in Jesus Christ's name who took David Wagliff's head, the king, and went up being crossed for all of world conflict. The, the, the stars, the Lord made David Wagliff as numerous as the stars that Jesus Christ took it up. Um, these are the covenants that which are the very creation of our imagination. All the things that we had given names to, the senses, the, the feel, the taste, the hear, the touch. All, all world conflicts that Jesus Christ paid for when church was had out by the fathers, the elders, and the kings and the lords. So, the covenants that are used to make an image of family members between the family, the, after they've had so much time, they use it to stir trouble between the family. And this is... This is how the law stirs trouble to keep. In, in Norse mythology, it's the thirst of the gods in the courts of Valhalla that thirst for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the law so that they may be with us in times of despair or great need. Jesus Christ was one that rendered himself for all people for these matters. The defilement is in the weak ones who turn against their family and they have no family loyalties and the inheritance as numerous as the stars um, and all those who choose their ways. Times when church was beautiful and then made ugly in the law until... Uh, it was made beautiful until the man-made law um, to teach the angels such defilements through Levi only who rendered himself for all people in times of great need or despair or hatred, anger. What is rendered to Caesar will remain to the earth. However, the grass does grow and we eat as livestock in sacrifice and what belongs to God will find God only in Levi until the head is taken by not being able to move forward and this is what statutes was put into place for by Perseus and then uh, refurbished by David and then so on and so on those who carried um, the head until Hercules who was the final one to carry the blood of Jesus Christ known as the Black Lip Avalon because David is our Ryan of the Patella Avalon which is Perseus and then Jesus Christ who is the tortoise who carried the Orion on its back which is nature and then like I said the throne with the Black Lip Avalon is Hercules who has the words of the grave and the inheritance of the land, as numerous as the stars, remember the stars are every bit and piece of imagination at which we, have, we see, we have made for ourselves by defining definition through childbirth, which is world conflict that Jesus Christ paid for. So, statutes was conformed for these matters in terms of bully laws that restrains a people for a military purpose similar to the Persian Wars um, with Hebron that was orchestrated as the church in Herod and Circe's time. This is the pig and um, the times when deceit, treachery, 
in laws and the family in such manners that which I have explained and overcoming Jesus Christ through the, the mother's head who was taken by Herod when Jesus Christ had put his trust into the mother and shared the church and the mother having so much authority over Jesus Christ, it's similar to a, a wife or if if another man comes in and moves on your wife and you lose your head, ah, mother, you know what I mean? And you lose your head to the woman or the man who came in and stole your girlfriend. It's, it's a similarity, but your mother is not your wife. You just were born through your mother. However, rebirth with Levi, this is how you become a part of Levi. Rebirth. And this is being born, again, not through the mother's womb, but chosen by God as an orchestrator, rendered for all the people so that God may know things that we only see. We only have a heart and emotion to. We only think of it so that we can speak of it and we put our, our words and our thoughts into action for a right going or a wrong going, a law which chooses a defilement in the angels of the Lord, which is the covenant that either go up back to God or they perish into the grass and the livestock eats and we eat it as livestock in sacrifice. So this is this is the law and the curse of which I have spoken and rendered myself for all people.